our research is to determine how cells make decisions in a tissue. And we use the fruit fly as a model organism to do that. But the main question is, so if you think about um, any animal starts out as a single cell, so like the fusion between a sperm and an egg, and that cell has to divide many, many times over and over again until you have thousands of cells in the embryo. And so the question is, how do these cells in the embryo know what to do? And the answer is they have to communicate with each other. So what we do in the lab is that we study how these communication pathways between cells, how they work, how the cells interpret the communication, and also when things start to go wrong, what kind of regulation is there to put things back on track. When the cells have to communicate with each other, the exact same kinds of signaling pathways that they use to talk to each other in a developing tissue are also really important for healthy adult tissue as well. And they're not just important for healthy adult tissue and embryo development in flies, but they're also really well conserved and you can find these almost exact same communication pathways in flies and in worms, fish, frogs, birds, mammals, and even humans. So. The combination of those two things leads us to, as we understand the signaling pathways and how they are developed, how they're interpreted and regulated, even in the context of a fruit fly embryo, we can also understand how the same kinds of signaling pathways work in humans, in adults, in adult stem cells, or in a human development as well. So, any PhD student working in a biomolecular engineering type lab like mine will gain typical PhD skills such as how to read the literature, how to um, criticize other people's work or critique other people's work, how to propose experiments and interpret experiments properly. Um, what's also very important is that they'll learn how to do very necessary and general biomolecular engineering techniques such as PCR and cloning etc. Specific to my lab, a lot of what we do in the lab is doing uh, light microscopy and so doing confocal imaging of fluorescent tissue samples is a very important component in the lab. But in the end when it all comes together, a combination of being highly motivated and getting a lot of work done in terms of answering the scientific question that's put before you, as well as the biomolecular engineering type techniques that you learn out of the lab, and in addition to that, being able to sort of critique the scientific literature as well as evaluate your own scientific results. Uh, that kind of resume will look good to a lot of different biomolecular type industries uh, that are available to you at the end of your PhD.